Hello, hello, Tiago. How are you doing? Thank you very much for the like, Tiago. How is it going? Yes, Tiago, Australia, yes, Adelaide, Australia, aboard the CRJ-1000. Oh, you are downloading the game, the game again because Windows had lots of lots of bugs. Oh, too bad. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me check <coughs> my flight plan. I will be flying at twenty thousand feet. Yes, it's very long to download again. Uh, I know. Eleven thousand two hundred will be our first step in the climbing. And cruising altitude will be twenty thousand. All right, everything is set. We can request the pushback.
All right, taxiing to runway. We are in Adelaide, in the south of Australia. We're heading runway 23. And we're going to uh, a small local airport called Ayers Rock. Ayers Rock is very famous in Australia because there is a huge mountain. It's a holy mountain for the, the native Australian people. I'm sure you saw this rock, it's called Uluru. It's a big red mountain and it's a holy place for the uh, aborigines of Australia. Yes, Tiago, let's, let's take off, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has advised that we are now clear for takeoff. And we're flying Lots of people flying the CRJ today. That's strange. I never saw so much CRJs. I'm gonna wait for my turn. Come on, glider, let's take off. Hey, Rangel, thank you very much for the like, Rangel Martins. Thank you very much and thanks for watching. Welcome in Adelaide, Australia.
All right, guys, let's go. It's time for takeoff. Nuts. V one and rotate. Positive rate, gear up. And flaps up.
10,000 feet. Let's switch off the landing lights and the wing lights and the signal sign.
Alright, we are reaching 20,000 feet, our cruising altitude. Yes, Diego, very nice plane. Quite difficult to fly, to handle, but nice. It's very long, huh? This is the CRJ-1000. The longest one of the CRJ uh, series. Very long aircraft. Jean, yeah, I know that you are here, but I can see you just like yesterday, you remember? Still the same server's, uh, server's problem, I guess. Let me try to change, to switch the server. Oh, I am on West USA, that's why. West USA, that's why I couldn't see you. I switched to East. Should be better. I see you now, Jean. I see you, Cubefox, Airbus 330-900. I see you there. Great. Sorry, I didn't pay attention that I was on a different server.
And John, where is Steve? Is Steve flying with you or not? Because I can't see Steve. Oh yeah, I see Steve. Nice, 27,000 feet. Also with the Airbus 330. Great. Oh, you just took off. I, no, you're not far away from me. Nice, I see you on Volanta. My apologies, I really didn't pay attention. About the half an hour just to prepare and I got my plane and everything and then all of a sudden we're, like, we're going to Jeddah. Okay, <laughs> so I wind up in Jeddah. What kind of planes are you using? Nobody's answering. No, oh, and uh, well, I could, well, what about the A320? Because <coughs> if we're just landing and you know, and all this stuff, maybe yeah. it's, big, it's too big of a plane. And then, yeah. uh, anyway, so I, I get the Airbus 320, I set up all the calibration and everything is perfect. And then all of a sudden I look at Johan's stream and he's, he's got this, uh, P-51 Mustang going on. <laughs> so, said, what are we doing here tonight? You know, and yeah. then I got out and I got back in and then he got back into an Airbus and I, I went back into the Airbus. So this is the third time I got the Air Airbus uh, Right. Out. And, uh, and in between that, I had some other little rinky-dink plane. Yeah. And then I saw him go back to the Airbus, but now it's, it's really too late to start calibrating and going crazy with this stuff. Right. And I said, where are we going, you know, and then I have to write down in this notepad, and, well, we're going there, we're going there, we're going there. Yeah. Uh, and I said, that, that, I did not enjoy that at all. And then I, I, I went to the F-16, and then I went back to the Airbus. And anyway, and then I had, in mid-flight, the Air, my, my A320 wasn't going well, well, and then I had to change to an a, a A330. Yeah. Well, I, w I went through the Dreamliner, anyway, six times before wow. we landed at first airport. And yeah. I was... I was having such a hard time trying to catch up. I couldn't get any speed. Right. All this crap, eh? Right. Well, I'm gonna tell you from my point of view, if we're going wait, anywhere, wait, up, wait, up, wait a minute. Might have had a major malfunction there or something. I don't know. I had a problem with my plane again. Oh, the, did all, you? The, all the all the uh, dashboard went crazy. Isn't that weird, eh? Why it does that? I don't know. Sometimes it's such frustrating. Yeah. yeah. Hello, hello. Good. He turned on the, the microphone. Everything I was gabbing about, it just came out through yeah. your, your stream. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I can, all of a sudden I can hear like a, a repeat of what I was saying uh, through my headset on the, th on the television. I said, what the hell? <laughs> that, that was not for transmission purposes. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. It's all good. We, we all uh, we all like to do. Well, I didn't things. say anything mean. I no, said, you sure didn't. I just, uh, no, I just no. Said exactly what it, what happened. Hey, when you're with a group, it's uh, not easy when you're trying to do group <laughs> things. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, well. 
everybody wants to try to. So, Johan, what is it? You took off? You never told it. We were sitting at the at the at the runway, waiting, 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 waiting for Johan to show. And all of a sudden, I turn on your stream. And you're up in the air. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That's no, okay. It's only That's all right. Game. No worries. It's only a game. <laughs> yeah, I do. Where's Tiago? Looking to me on the t on the on the stream, but he's not flying. He told me that he had to reinstall. He's still downloading the game again because um, he had some problems. Um, I don't know after the update or something like that. Oh uh, yeah, some some Windows problems. His Windows was buggy, so he had to reinstall everything again. He's still downloading the game. His windows were buggy, so he had to clean the windows. Yeah. <coughs> so he decided to reinstall everything from scratch. So your CRJ is working. Oh, very well. I thought it crashed it earlier before. Yeah, because I modified the plane. I downloaded the. Uh, new sounds for this plane and it, it caused a crash so I had to, right. re to, to reinstall the, the plane again and everything is working well yeah that's what I said I said uh, you obviously had something yes. wrong with one of your yes. files yes that's what you told me yeah. Yes. yeah no I was asking uh, I was asking Steve where, where are we gonna go uh, on, on the group flight on the major group flight well, well, main group flight wait, wait, since we're going all over Australia Hold, last on, days. hold on a second. Uh, huh? a, a genio, Makes thank you very lot. much for the follow. A genio, thank you so much and thank you for watching the stream. Welcome. Uh, where are we going? I, I don't know. I have no idea. I, what do you think about flying in South America? We never go to South America. Exactly. Exactly my thought. I was going to say, what do you think about South America? In Peru, Bolivia, <laughs> Argentina. It yeah, should yeah. be beautiful. I was. I was. Real. Before before yeah. this flight, I was thinking to fly in the south of Argentine to go to the extreme south. Uh, there is a, a town called Ushuaia. Uh, we could land there. The, the landscapes are incredibly beautiful. We should do something like that. It's exactly that when I said that, you know, we've been through all Australia these last nights. Yeah. No, nothing much else to see besides the... <coughs> Yeah, exactly. South America yeah. Would, would be fun if we didn't go there. Very exactly, much. yes. It would be nice. And, Re and Rio is a nice approach into that runway too, isn't it? Rio. That's got the two parallel runways, the short one there. Oh yeah, this nice approach uh, over the the yeah. bay, over the sea. Yes, it's nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm in. Whatever you guys want to do, South America is fine too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. But we had enough of uh, Australia, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, water or uh, sand. Well, there's there's nothing much to see, you know, except the east coast, and that's yes. it. The country is a desert. Yeah, what I was uh, telling Johan, John, I was going to do a counterclockwise mm. tour around the edge of this whole island, just because uh, that's where all the air major airports are. Mm. Where here? Yeah. Like go now? to Perth, yeah, go, no, no, I was thinking about myself personally or whenever I was going from here oh, to yeah. Perth and then going counterclockwise around the island because that's where all the major airports are until you came back around to Sydney. Anyways, that was my thought <coughs> on flying Australia. Oh, it's pretty good. You know, you, you could have a, you know. You it's could very long, huh? Propose yeah. Propose the ideas if you wish, eh? Oh, no, just, we just it's something all I there. thought of. Yeah, I know. It was just something I thought of. It's really, it's really open on the air. Well, open. Yeah. Well, the reason why I said that because uh, Johan just said it. There's not much in the interior except for this airport, and uh, there's another one over there. But most of the airports are mm. all on the coast. Mm -hmm. You guys are almost on one on top of each other. Eh? Well, Steve's at twenty-seven thousand. You're at twenty twenty thousand. I am at 20,000, yes. Yeah. Yeah, because another airport in the center here is yeah. Allen. 
Springs, but anyways, most of the airports are on the on the coast. Yeah, there's an airport just below us called Cowell. Yeah. I like the liveries of it. All white with the, with the color contrast and the tail or something that's like Air France, British Airways. Yeah, they're all doing it with that uh, flash colored tail. All the airlines are seem to be doing it. Yeah. Same paint job as on the uh, CRJ. Yeah. Wayala, Wayala, <laughs> Wayayara. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you gotta get a better, a better Australian accent than that. No, I. All I got is mate. And that's all I got. <laughs> or right, what's the other one they say? Throw a shrimp, throw a shrimp on the Barbie, and then. Uh, some, somebody said that to somebody, and they said, uh, I was one of a professional uh, sports person. And he came back and said, we don't say that here. He was from Australia. An Australian sports person uh, said, we don't say that here. Just because Crocodile D said it, we don't say it. No. <laughs> Crocodile D. That was a good movie. Bobby from uh, <laughs> Dopier and Dopier, isn't it? Or what's it called? Uh, Dumber and Dumber? Dumber and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> silly movie, eh? Yeah. Throw another shrimp on the Bobby. When they said they were from Austria. <laughs> Throw another shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> you see that movie? Uh, what is it? What is it? I mean, what's that? What's it? What's that? These two movies he made there. One of these, uh, the animal's friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, ain't getting old. Yeah. I know the name. Yeah, so do I. Oh, I don't. Pet Detective. What? Pet Detective. Yeah, but what's his name? Ace, A no, Ace, Ace Ventura. Ventura. Ace Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the second movie when he comes out of when he comes out of the the suit like a cow from the rear end. Like <laughs> <laughs> Man, I laughed so much watching that. Me and my, my son and I, we just laughed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jim Carrey's got a sick sense of humor, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a crazy guy. Yeah. I can hear the, what we say out there. <laughs> right after, on the stream. <laughs> got a nice hut. Yeah, it's nice.
And speaking of Wellington, we're, he must be working, I guess, eh? Yeah, he'd still be working or just getting off work? Well, no idea. I don't see him. I have no news about him. No. But he will, he will show up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> He's about the same time as you, John, eh? Pardon me? He's about the same time as you. Yeah, he's exactly the same time as us here on the East yeah. Coast. Yeah. So I think he has, he, he has to get his, go get his wife at work or something. Right. Just be just finishing work. About this time. Yeah. It's Adrian that starts later, right? Uh, I mean, he, he, he finished, well, he has to work, first of all. And, yeah. And, and, and he, uh, he's one hour behind me and two hours ahead of you. But, yeah. Uh, he finishes uh, working late. I think he finishes working around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right. And uh, uh, no, not 6 p.m. He's 6 p.m. Uh, 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 Central Central Time in Texas. Right. So that makes it 7 p.m. here if you add. 13 hours, uh, not 13, uh, 7 hours, so it's, uh, what, uh, 7 hours, 7, 7 p.m., that's, four, that's 14, uh, yeah, I'm getting myself mixed up here, <coughs> throwing any math, math out here, 19 plus uh, 7, that's 26, that means it's 2 a.m., Johann Stein. But he said that he didn't work on the Thursday evening. You know. Well, he probably just want to fly with me anymore, anyways. So I guess he will be streaming all night long. He'll be what? He will be streaming all night long today. Because it doesn't work tomorrow. Right. I don't know if he doesn't work. I just I think he doesn't work Thursday evening. Oh, evenings. Yes. That's what I that's what I understood yesterday. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I understood that Thursday I, was I off for he, him. I think he likes long flights. Yeah, he does. He did a very long one, Beijing to Beijing to uh, Hong Kong. Yeah. That was a, I think like eleven hundred nautical miles. I think it was what. Three and a half hours. Well, we did it. Before. We did it before. <laughs> we did it. Yes. I must have fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I remember <coughs> you guys. If you did it, don't remember that. No, it was with you, if I remember well. South America. So you're gonna draw up the, the flight plan? <laughs> well, if you want, why not? Well, you know where you want to go. Okay. Oh, it's mostly the major airports that have at least you know five, six thousand foot runways. So we're flying any of the planes that you know the bigger ones, anyways. Talking about South America. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I wonder if uh, did they do an update, a sim update for that that area? No. No, huh? so mm -hmm. we won't see much much of the continent, like the Amazon or. Actually, it'll be all right, but it won't be as good as an update for sure. But I'm sure you'll still see some stuff. Yeah, sure. No, and no and the kind of snakes. I wonder. I, I read a, a, a few times that people, when they, they use the flight sim, they see animals. Like yes, you can. The, over the Serengeti and stuff like that. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yes. yes. Did you try it, you guys? Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I watched. Uh, I think the only I, I saw Johan, one of Johan's stream earlier yeah. on there. I saw him uh, uh, go see some animals there. Yeah. Yeah, I saw some giraffes, some. Uh, 
rhinos, some elephants. Yeah. Yes, yes. Really? And you see them in, uh, in your world map. Uh, it appears yeah. as a point of interest with the shape of, right. uh, of, of the paw of an animal. But do you have to do like a, a special uh, a sightseeing flight or is it in a regular flight? <coughs> well, no, 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 in a regular flight. You just need to be in the, in the good area, area and, uh, <coughs> and fly low. You fly low and with a small plane is better. Yeah. Thank you for the share, Jean. The stream is working today, right? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I, I, you're right. Perfect. Let me double check. Ah, yeah, there it is. Perfectly. Yeah. Almost yeah. no delay. Yeah. About 20 second delay. Yesterday it no, worked. So Yesterday it was working well also. Uh, I watched the replay. Oh, Everything minute, was minute, okay. Wait a minute. The little lady just appeared. <laughs> Joy. Yeah, Get but there was a... It was a bigger delay yesterday than there is right now. Maybe I don't know why. Oh, yesterday for, for, for us almost. to watch, for us watching it. Oh, it was like al almost twenty minutes between the time I, I texted something and something. If, oh, thanks, Steve. There you go. Yeah, that was the same with me. Every time I I uh, message you on this, uh, <laughs> Johan, it took a while for you to see it. So. Mm. Jean, I'm sending you something in the chat here. In the chat? Yeah, here. And thank oh. you for the 50 stars. It's still loading, it's still loading. You will receive it now. You should have it now. With stars. Do you see it? No, here, I, here in Discord, in the chat on Discord here. Oh, Discord. <laughs> Good Lord. And Steve, thank you for the star oh, also. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello, madame. Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle. <laughs> Does she have a name? I what don't know. A French name. I don't know. <laughs> Brigitte or? Uh, Brigitte, no, it's an old name. I know, I was thinking of Brigitte Bardot. Oh, oh, let let yeah. me see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she moves too. Look at that. Ah, nice. You'll be famous for this, Johan. <laughs> <laughs> What's your wife's name, uh, Johan? She's British, right? No, she's Egyptian. <laughs> Your wife is Egyptian. She's Egyptian. She was born in London, but she's Egyptian. Oh, you see that? Oh, that's why you. I, I thought in the beginning that's maybe that's why you were in in Egypt. Well, this is not the reason why I'm in Egypt, but she became no. the reason why I stayed in Egypt. Ah, right. <laughs> uh, what Jack? What accent does she have? What eh? What? Which? What accent does she speak? Well, does she, have, uh, does she have an accent? No, she's like me. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, how, you know, you, you know. I know. I realize where you were born, but where you spent a lot of time. Sometimes yeah. you pick up the accent, especially if you're, you know, British, mm -hmm. or you, you can pick up the accent um, from either where you're from or where you're actually living now, right? Well, yes, I have. I have a colleague. She was born in Syria. She's living in Egypt and she was living in UK for 20 years and she's talking English like, yes. a, like an English people. She has a terrible accent, right. very right. hard, very difficult to understand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're, uh, you're correct, yes. When you listen to the uh, F Formula One drivers, uh, many of them that uh, lived in Europe, not from England, but when they speak English, they, they use often the English accent. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm still searching for a name for the mademoiselle. Yeah. I'm too old to find a find a, <laughs> a, a young name. I, I, there's Quebec names, but uh, I don't think that would fit. Which airline is she from anyway? She looks like Aeroflot. Yes. The, sim the symbol on her. But oh, she Natasha. she doesn't but she doesn't look uh, she doesn't seem to be Russian. Uh, I don't know. 
I was living there and it's not a Russian beauty. No? No. It, it's, oh, Steve can see this, right? Yes, yeah, Steve can see it, yes. Yeah. He's looking over his shoulder to make sure his wife doesn't see it. <laughs> oh, I already told you, she's not here. Yeah, I know, but you know, when pictures like this are all of a sudden appear on your computer, you <laughs> look over your shoulder. <laughs> True enough. True enough. She could be American or Australian, maybe. Oh, the weather is cleared up here. Yeah. Okay, how much time we got here? <coughs> Still a long time. I got four. We're arriving at 10.14. So I got time to go make myself a sandwich here. It's quite flat. I am hungry. So, uh, how long does school last there? I guess not there. It lasts forever. Well, no, I just wonder if they're the same as, you know, what, you know. In Western countries? Right. Must be similar to Europe, you think? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure he'll tell us. A friend of mine who I went to school with, high school with, um, she ended up getting a job at the same school um, as a, you know, secretary or, you know, assistant, you know, an assistant in the office in the high school. She just finished her 43rd year. Oh, really? Yeah. 43 years in one office. Long time. But if you're seeing different kids, imagine how many kids she saw in that time go through that high school. That's a lot of, that's a lot of kids. Oh, yeah. Who is this? A friend of mine that I went to school with. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who I went to the same school yeah. that she's working at. She went there too, obviously, but she uh, graduated. I, uh, she might have taken maybe some bit of college or something like that or whatever, and then and then went back there and got a job at the at that school. Maybe not. She might have just graduated high school and applied for a job and maybe got it. You know yeah. how things were back in the day there. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes you didn't need you know, administrative jobs, and I'm not putting down administrative jobs, I'm not, but back then you may, may not have needed certain qualifications to get certain jobs in yeah. administration. I mean, if you could, let's say if you could type well, you're a great typer, you're good on uh, speaking and 
speaking to people and uh, maybe some computer skills, even though we just started with computer skills back then, but you could, you know, you could probably get a job. I guess my point was that 43 years is a long time to spend at a job. Yeah, well, the longest I spent was 32 at one place. Yeah. Seven in another. And yeah. Something like that. And a few years elsewhere. Right. So, yeah. Well, I guess when you like what you're doing, right? Yeah. And you enjoy the people with who you've been working with. Absolutely. I wonder how close this rock is to the airport. Might have to, before landing, might have to do a little tour around it just to have a little boo at it, see what it looks like. You're gonna go see a rock? Yeah. Yo, Johan will tell me how far. Yeah, the, this, the sky is all cleared up, eh? There's nothing, no clouds. Yeah. What rock? I don't see a rock. How can you see a rock? No, no. Once, I, I, I was being sar I was being oh. sarcastic. It's a rock sticking out of the ground. Twenty-seven thousand feet. See the rock. No, no. You, you'll see it once you get there. You'll see it because it is the most prominent thing there. Well. I know. I know it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, all I see is the lady turning around. No. Yeah. But how close is it to the airport? Oh, yeah, I see that. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. that the real mountains? Is it red like that? saying that before I land, maybe just take a little tour around it and see what it looks like from the sim. Is it far from the airport? No. <laughs> no. No. No, it's not. It's close. <laughs> uh, helicopter? helicopter? Well, what's so uh, funny? I don't get it. I'm laughing because I just asked the same question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, it's I'm it's only laughing. Ahead, eh? uh, no, 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 no. It's all fun and games. That's all. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here, here I was giving, and you guys were quiet yesterday. And I, you know, <laughs> you and Adrian picked me to ask him how to auto land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of ironic, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, it's I mean, funny when we're all talking to each other, but if we're not listening or not here, and we ask the same question, it's funny when it's being asked twice or three times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh... So, I gather you asked that question a few minutes before. Yeah, I, I, I did. 
And the thing I shouldn't have asked, because once we get close there, I guarantee you're going to see it, because it is so prominent, there's nothing else around but that. <laughs> it's really flat here, eh? Yeah. Flat, flat land. And I get to hear the same thing over on, on the stream, a few minutes after. <laughs> Okay, how do we do this? Like uh, Qantas uh, Heavy uh, oh, Flight 1954 away from the keyboard. We're making a ham sandwich. Now, did that sound like a real radio transmission? Roger. Oh, somebody open a window. Right, so connected here. Didn't hear what I said. Oh, okay. Steve's not there. Oh yes. You know when the when the the ATC tells you the, when you are set at a certain altitude, and the ATC keeps telling you, uh, please expedite to your 27,000 feet or whatever. I I figured out because it was doing that this afternoon, and I figured out why it's doing it because uh, the barometer is not set. When you put it, yeah, when you set it, that's I I put it that standard. And I noticed in the message, the previous message that she, that she gave me was a barometer set at 1016. And when I, when I adjusted it, then she stopped telling me to expedite to the flight altitude. So I think there's a lot of people that didn't know this. I didn't. And Steve didn't either. No. No. That's why I turned it all off. Who'd want to listen to that anymore? <laughs> Change your frequency. Did you hear me? Change your frequency. Did you hear me? Please respond. Please respond. It gets annoying. <laughs> I'm busy. Well, I lost uh, Johan. I don't see him. I only see Steve. Oh, there you are. You're on my right. 
tell me I'm passing it. What's your speed? Okay, that's probably why I keep on forgetting the smaller planes go a little slower. <laughs> well, I know that from the 320. The 320 can't go as fast as the 330. No, no. this is it. I'm, I'm zooming along here at 290. I'm backed off. I was at 300. <laughs> that's why you're so far up front. Oh. That uh, was not my intent, but no. Oh well, now I know. So I slowed down. That's okay. You're you're the guiding light. Yeah. It's funny. I was flying with uh, Adrian uh, last night, and uh, he had the plane going so fast and over speed. The, um, the N1 was flashing red. So, so I don't know if he turned off the alarm, but he was flying as fast as the, uh, the sim would allow him to fly the plane. What's the N1? N1 on your um, E-cam, your engine rotation. Yeah. yeah. The N1, the very top yeah. gauges. He must have been in the red, eh? He was in the red, and it was flashing red. Oh, yeah, I, I see the N1, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes the uh, rotation of your fan blades or something like that of the turbines or I'm not an engine I'm not an engine guy I just know it has something to do with the spinning of your blades just before they come off yeah, I guess okay I'm gonna, I have to go uh, to the galley and get my uh, ham sandwich so I'm going to try to do this sign off here as professional as possible here. Wait, wait and see. Let me practice. Better check. Hey? You better check your. Oh, this isn't working here. The 330 doesn't work. What? Better check behind the cockpit door before you go out. There might be somebody waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> here, I was checking all over the dashboard. What? 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 Yeah, what somebody be, might what, be standing what there. What could possibly be going wrong? Trying to. Terrorists take over your plane. Yeah. No. Let's see now how they do this. Uh, this is uh, Airbus uh, Qantas, Airbus uh, 330, flight uh, 1954, signing off, uh, making a sandwich, a ham sandwich at the galley. Roger it up. Signing out for real, for now. I'll be back in about 15 minutes. Yoin, you there?
Hello, some some Clark. Yes, good flight. Thank you. Flying over Australia and heading in the center of the country to watch a very famous, uh, very famous, famous place in Australia. It's called the Uluru Mountain. Maybe you don't know the name, but when you will see it, I'm sure you will recognize it. Everybody knows this place. It's very, very typical, very famous. We are actually flying the CRJ-1000. <coughs> Our altitude is 20,000 feet. We're flying over the desert of Australia after the world update 7 was, uh, that was released two days ago by Asob <coughs> thank you everybody for watching and please if you like the stream uh, don't forget to like, to share it and to follow and you can help us by sending stars Very beautiful place, look at that. The quality of the graphics, the level of detail is incredible.
we are approaching guys and look how the ground is becoming red in this part of Australia this is um, the holy land of the native Australian people Soon we're gonna start the descent. We're flying at 20,000 feet and we will descend at 6,500 6, feet after a while. are getting very closed. I'm back. And welcome back. Thank you. So, did I miss anything? No. Are you descending? Did you descend? Uh, I went through 20,000 feet. Okay, just like me. I will, I will descend soon. We still have... Uh, I have 306 nautical miles to go. 300 nautical miles? Yeah. Whoa. Not you? I don't know. 155. But when I check on Volanta, uh, I'm not so far. Uh, yeah, one, one, 153. Yeah, something like that. Me too, yes. I check on Volanta, I'm right, right between both of you. Yes, correct. <coughs> but that's strange, it seems to me, I, I thought before, sometime before I left for, for lunch or for supper, uh, um, we were all about 45 minutes away and I checked and we're still about 45 minutes away. Well, I think there is a bug in the, in the MCDU of this uh, A330. <laughs> No, 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 really, uh, I'm not kidding, I think it happened to me before. Well, I've tuned in the VOR and uh, the MCDU, they both uh, jive mm -hmm. on this 330. How do you tune in the VOR? Well, you find out what the frequency is of the VOR there, right? And then uh, you put it in the MCDU. And how like you do it. that? And <coughs> how you do that is just go on to Google and Google this airport. Just Google the airport, uh, airport charts, and uh, they're all there. Or you can use uh, Sky Vector. Yeah. Well, if I look at the, uh, if I look at the. Uh, Way up here. Navigation display. Uh, the airport is located uh, approximately uh, 160 nautical miles away. On the ma on the uh, navigation display of the plane, mm -hmm. but on the MCDU, there's a, there's a, there's a really a problem there. I'll change the page and come back and see. If it's, uh, still says uh, 306. Nautical miles. That's strange. But that's the first time I've had a problem like that with this plane. <coughs> it looks like the Ayers Rock is directly south of uh, the airport. 
Yes, it, uh, yes, it is. Yes, Steve. When does uh, your school year end? Uh, by the end of June. Okay, so it's pretty well the same yes. as it is over here, yeah. too, right? Yeah. And then starts back up in September? Yes, August? exactly, yes, in September. Okay, there you go. But if I correct me if I'm wrong, you're at the end of this year, you're done at this school and you're moving? Well, hopefully, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope yes. Yeah. Uh, where are you going? Bahrain? Yes, I should go to Bahrain, yes. Probably in uh, in July or August. You almost went last year or this year, didn't you? Last or October, last, last October, yes. And what? You had the COVID, eh? No, but um yeah, the, the, you know, my friend, she's, she's the director. I have a friend, she's the directress of a school out there. And uh, she called me and she wanted me to be there after two or three days. And she was very in a hurry. She needed to open a new class and she needed a teacher. And, and she thought about me, but it was too short. In three days, you don't have time to, to do anything, to pack and to get a visa and, you know. Right. She couldn't wait, you know, she had too much pressure from the, the school's administration, from the parents, from many people, and she couldn't wait. But in September, it should be, it should be good, it should be okay. Well, it sounds like it'll be a nice change. Oh, yes, it will be, yeah. Look at the color of the ground here. Yeah. <coughs> yep. That's a nice orangey red. Yeah. MCDU is still indicating at 306, but the uh, navigation display is within the, within 160 nautical miles. Outback. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <coughs> Looks like the moon.
uh, this is a spot where the land with those uh, those uh, funny planes with the giant wheels, the rubber wheels on them. Like I don't remember the name of it. You know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> in the sim, those <laughs> in the sim, there's those there's those uh, look weird looking like they look like giant Cessnas but with big fat tires. Oh um, yeah, yeah. For bush bush piloting, or right? This terrain looks like that kind of place. Uh, they can land and take off on a very short distance. Yeah, and probably on uh, you know on rough terrain, I guess. Yes. Anywhere. I see Ayers Rock now on Volanta. It's up near a place next to a place called Yulara. Yula, yes, Yulara, yes. So, Steve, you're going to be there way ahead of us. How much further ahead of me are on Volante. Oh yeah, I guess I am a little bit, eh? Hmm. You're almost halfway between us and Yulaga. Can you see uh, how many people are, uh, are watching the stream, uh, Yuan? Uh, no, I don't really pay attention. <laughs> You don't care. <laughs> Not <Okay>. that much. <laughs> no, but uh, are you able to see? Uh, yes, I could see, yes. Okay. Yeah. And you don't want to see? No. Good. <laughs> no signs of uh, Wellington?
Okay, according to the indicators, I'm at 100 nautical miles away from destination. Is that balanced with you guys? Except speed? Yes, it seems to be correct. Celsius, 1013 HPA, winds coming out of uh, 120 degrees, 13 knots. <clears throat> well, there's a little bit of cloud here. E 
Eva, on your on your navigation display, is your plane exactly uh, on on top of the line, or is it just a little bit beside it? Beside it. Yeah. You kind of stupid. Eh? At at the uh, forty nautical miles setting, it's it's about uh, almost a half an inch next to the line. A lot of clouds. Yes. I thought you said there was a big, <laughs> quite a bit of, uh, of a crowd. But you said clouds. <laughs> That's what I said. Clouds, yeah. sorry. <laughs> okay. Crowds. No, I'm the only one here. I thought so, because it's kind of a far out place. No, I'm talking about in my house. There's no crowds here. No? All oh, right. <laughs> you know those truckers are coming here on, on, on Saturday. Are they? Are they at Quebec City? Yep. Oh, wow. They got one hothead there from uh, one of the unions there. To, he summoned all of the trucks to come over in front of the parliament building here. And it's quite a hassle because that's exactly the day that opening up. Well, the restaurants are are opening up, I believe, on February fourth. So that's Thursday, right? No, yeah. Friday. Yeah. And so they're all up on the flutter because they they think that with all the demonstration and the big trucks, that it'll, it'll hinder them reopening, right. and they don't need that crap right now. Right. And it's also right across the street from the national. Assembly is the uh, the yes. carnival, the carnival, uh, carnival uh, ice sculptures and, and, and castle, right? Where all the activities are taking place. So yes, it'll be quite the show. Absolutely. Seeing Hare's Rock right off my right here. And I'm going to take even a closer with, look. Even with the clouds? Yeah. Once you get down to uh, below, <coughs> uh, below 5,000, <coughs> I'm going to take a little look and see if that's what it is. And uh, yes, it is. That is it. I'm going to circle around it.
around it and go for my landing. I think it's bumpy down here. It's not quite the same as being there, but eh, seems like it did a pretty good job of capturing it. Probably the only time we're going to see it anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it right in front of me. Cloud ceiling is low here, eh? Yeah. Well, I'm heading straight to those that mountain thing. flashing around. <coughs> Can you see my plane there, Steve, from there? So,
see you are just above me. See, see, I, I, on the, on the MCDU, I set it direct to one of the waypoints, and then it straightened out. The plane straightened out, and now it's on top of the flight plan on the navigation display. Right. But the, the MCDU still 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 says I got 306 nautical miles to go. Huh. Oh, you're far away. Eh? Country road there, you can see all the lights all lit up. Shiabata Cap running around with an F 18. This on at uh, 1936 in the evening. It's beautiful. All the red sand and the you can see the sun, all red. Right on. Is it, is it okay. cloudy? Is it cloudy for you two guys? Yes. Yes. It's very yes. cloudy. Yeah? Low cloud. Yeah. yeah. Looks like there's a lot of rain around too. Yes. visual on you, you know what? I can see your plane and your flashing lights. Yes, I am. You're, you're turning I'm towards the final, yeah. final approach, eh? Have you seen the rock? Yeah, I saw the rock. Yes. Not, not, not the actor. Yeah. Huh? I'm not talking about the no, actor. No. 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 <laughs> 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 My father-in-law, he was 90, 97 when he passed away uh -huh. a few years ago, and, and he went to Greece with his wife. Yeah. And uh, he came, when he came back, he says, uh, once you've seen one rock over there, you've seen them all. <laughs> That's what they say about churches in Europe, don't they? I guess once so. Seen, yeah, when you've seen one church, you've seen them all. I don't know. And you uh, No, there's lots of churches in Europe. Lots. All of them are different. Yeah, yes, I I totally agree. <laughs> but that's what the saying is. Yeah, though, yeah, yeah. You can't you can't travel very far without seeing a church in any European. Yeah, country. sure, of course. Yeah. Oh, here we go, turning towards the final approach. I love this. So nice. Ah, you can see the airfield. Really at that. 1940 in the evening, it's beautiful. You will see it's a very narrow runway. Uh, uh, I'm not afraid of that. Oh, I know. Yeah, alright, let's land this big puppy. The, this is the mo moment we all wait for, right? Yes. Anyway, yes. for me, it's, it's day landing. Absolutely. Yeah. 
That's one. Absolutely. That's three. Localizer here, right? No, there is no ILS here, nothing. It's big spikes and spiders. Nice view with the rock just in front of me. Yes, very the, nice. The Dwayne Johnson mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling, Steve. You remember you told me about the RAM? Yes. The fan uh, coming out from the nose of the aircraft. I have the fan out since a while. I don't know why. Right. I didn't lose the power. Rat. The rat or the RAM, or yeah. it has many names. I didn't lose yeah. power or anything, and suddenly it went out. <laughs> and I am not able to put it on, to put it uh, in again. Back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's another glitch. It's noisy, it's really disturbing. Another glitch. There is a switch to put it back, but it doesn't work. Mm. 300 feet. Touchdown. Oh, and this rat is back. Finally, after touchdown, it goes back. I saw you, I see you. Let's just say I didn't land on the strip. <laughs> Red.
And Jean, I still see you as a generic uh, Airbus 380. Really? You don't see it? Oh, really? You don't see the A330? No. You don't see the Qantas uh, livery? No. I see you with a red and orange uh, generic plane. Yeah, boy. It would be interesting to know what the, the national nationalities of the people that are flying. Mm. Should have a they should have a flag right next to the name. Yes. Not a very big airport. No. Oh, I pulled up. I pulled up. Steve. <laughs> I flared too soon. Where are you? Not even I flared it. too soon. He's landing. I don't see him landing. Yep, I flared too soon. Oh well, I'm down. That's all it counts. I don't even see you. Darn, that was going to be a good landing, except for the poor flare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve. Well, it's only the third time I've flown this plane, so it's... Many little planes here. I even see a that little jet ski plane. Really? <laughs> I see a, a mini Kodiak. 
Mm -hmm. and, uh, I see two, two of those jet ski planes. see Steve anymore. I see him still on the runway. Great approach, crappy landing. <laughs> I don't know. I am hesitating. I am searching for something, something small, but not too slow. Um, I have no idea. What will you take? of the flight I see Steve all of a sudden now I don't see him ridiculous okay let's shut this thing down get into the Kodiak that little plane. It's not in the game, right? Aha. Uh -huh. But. But. What's the speed? <laughs>
Where do you find the planes? Uh, tools? Packages? No. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Right. Thank you. Okay. Ah. Apply and save, then go back. Always apply and save once you change the planes. Okay. first for me there too.
Boy, do winds have effect on small planes, eh? Wow. The ground is so red. I hear it's like gumbo when it gets wet too, eh? Like clay. Yeah. This little thing. It's called a CT Supra Light. It's in the game. It's a, it looks like a a fish. It's a very small plane. It's uh, the inside looks like it's made of like a old plastic or something. No, it's indicating I'm going at 200 knots, but I don't believe it. Uh, what's your speed? Oh. 126. 126? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to uh, fly this plane level, straight. It's a nice plane. There's actually a GPS on this plane. You can actually program it. Oh, yeah, but the whole thing about flying these planes is hands-on, man. Hands-on. Yeah. Hands-on, yeah. Where are the kangaroos? Oh, is there? <laughs> well, that's a reward. He told me something about that. There, remember the ruins you went to? One of the ruins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a rock, all right. It's strange, eh? This rock right in the middle of the nowhere. It's flat all over. Mm -hmm. Must be a result of some kind of volcanic eruption. I wonder if I can land here. I guess not. Strange, eh? Oh, yeah, it's still there. The, the volcano. You must you get close to it, you fly over it, how do you get it? 
Uh huh. Right. Gotcha. What's it look like? Just a rotating logo. The logo. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't see it. I do. You see it on the map? No, no. I'm looking at the rock. Looking at the rock. Oh, okay. On the rock. Well, I don't see it. Must be for 62 and younger. I can see you circling the rock. I'm gonna dive. Oh, you really need the, the one with the giant tires, but it's almost impossible. No, it doesn't seem to be anything flat enough to... Uh, How do you know if you got it, uh, Johan? Uh, uh, gotcha. I don't know if I was close enough or not. I'll turn around and see. I can see you trying your lead. <laughs> oh, that was silly. <laughs> you disappeared into rock. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> It's funny. This is oh. there seems to be some sort of lake there at the bottom of the of this place. I must have got it. Not there no more. There you go. It's like a valley here in the middle of the rock and then it comes to a lake. Well it's a very good little plane and it's very still there. I didn't get it. Let's see now. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, tell me I'm too close to the rocks. But I have to be close to them. Ooh. Checklist summary is written right on the uh, on the panel. Oh, oh right. Oh, just came about a hundred feet from the ground. At about five feet from the ground. I did a loop with this thing. Oh, there's a strange house here. Somebody's shooting bullets at me. Must be somewhere a hideaway for a mean a villain from James Bond. You got a building? You're at a building? Right next to the rock. Well, not quite next to it, but the... can you see me uh, flying around? Because I can't see you, Steve. I'm on top of the rock. Uh, even at that, I couldn't see you even land or anything like that since the airport. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big uh, building here. I'm gonna land right here. On the road. Hang on, let me see if I can find you here. Wait a minute, I gotta turn around. I came there in too fast. There you are. Came in too fast. Let's see what it is. I got you there now. Right next to this giant building here. Purple V is gone now. Yeah, you don't have to hate it.
kangaroo just kicked me. Yeah, could you see I'm right next to this building? I broke my plane. It's not working right. Yeah, well, I tried. I didn't do a good job. Now I'm stuck. like a swamp here or something I can't get loose It's called the Flight Design CT. It was really fun. Icon A5, is that the, the little... the one with the big windshield like a car? But what, what's the one with the big wheels? Fit Special, what's the... oh, Reno. No, uh, uh, what's the plane like? the giant Cessna but with the fat wheels. Yeah, I think so too, now that you mention it. Oh yeah, I'll go get that. That's, that's gonna be fun because you can land in the... Where is it? No. It's supposed to be a Sobo, right? Oh, it's not in the S's. X cup, X cup, no. Okay, X cup, aviators livery, Xbox, aviators club. Try that. And what is the VL three? Any ideas? VL three, Victor Lima three. This is not the one with the giant wheels, but it looks like it. Ooh, yes. Yeah, it has big wheels. Come on. Ah, uh, this is a plane for this country.
Hey Wellington, thank you very much. Thank you for the stars, Wellington. How is it going? And thank you for the like, Wellington. had a group flight with uh, Jean and Steve in Australia again and we are sightseeing now Well, I'm not, I'm not seeing them anymore, no, they disappeared from the screen, server's problem again. I see them on Volanta, I know that they are here on Volanta. I see you. Well, I'm not seeing you. I changed plates. Yeah? I just changed, maybe you'll see me. It'll generate. Wellington is in the chat, in the stream. <laughs> it really is. It, it's uh, low, low, low wings, like a bubble, with two giant screens uh, on the dashboard. Yeah. Two seats. And Wellington says, uh, hello Jean, hello Steve. Yeah, I saw. Boo, boo gang. Yeah. I see. The other boy is coming towards you.
I will, I will change my plane again. This is a fun plane. Visibility is incredible. It's just beautiful. You can see all over. Hey everyone in the stream, thank you very much for watching. Welcome aboard. And don't forget to like, to follow and to share the stream. And you can support us by sending stars. Just like our friends Wellington, Jean and Steve did. We are in Australia.
TV Zero it just landed. Sorry, I had mute. Yeah, I'm right there. <laughs> yeah. I watch you go right up top of me. See me? That, that w oh, that was you? Yeah, you went right over top of me. Did it feel good? In a plane that, yeah, in a plane that the prop's not turning. <laughs> I still don't see you. Yeah, I'm on the runway. You. Right on the runway. I see the both of you here. guys. I see you and I see... I saw Johan, so... Wait, 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 wait. Saw something here? No. Oh. Oh, I don't see you. Ever since we got here, you disappeared like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> this is the Twilight Zone. Yeah, seen both Johan and yourself. Yeah, I'm seeing both of you too, yes. see you in Volanta. You guys get out of that or? No, I don't think so. No, I'm still in Volanta. Huh. Yeah, still there. Somewhere. That's interesting. I see both of you in Volanta. Oh no, I don't see you anymore in Volanta, yes. Yeah, you just disappeared. Call a VL3, Victor Lima 3. It's a fun little plane. Google X Cup. That's, that's the plane we're talking about. The fat tires.
it's a nice plane, Johan. I just saw it on your, on your stream. Yeah, it's nice, but it's slow. Why yeah. plane? It's crazy. I'm watching yeah, the stream, so I'll be able to see this replay. Not very realistic. <laughs> I sit on a runway, you miss. <laughs> it's like a bowling ball that's down, going down the alley. <laughs> In the stream, if you can see this plane, I mean, it's a standard plane from the game. You should be able to see it. You know? It's like a silly piper or something. Well, tell me its name and I will take it. Excuse me? What's the name of the plane? I will I will take it, I will try it. Oh, it's the x cap. But the other one before was the VL3. That was fun, the VL3. The landing gear uh, actually... Uh, landing gear actually... Uh, worked. x cap. Yeah, the x cap. Oh, okay. But the one before that was, was the. Uh, uh, you have a neck, if you have a neck cup and you don't see me, I, I see me in the stream, and it's not even the next cup. Yeah, this is really annoying. Oh, yes, this one, I know it, yeah. <laughs> With the fat wheel. Yeah. <laughs> the safari plane. And the bush plane. And big wheels, big uh, wings. Yeah, huge wings. Wing. Yeah, yeah. I used that when we went to uh, Nook. Oh yeah. It was fun because uh, you have a de-icing for the windshield. And now you see, I, I see you as like a uh, an X cup. And if you set uh, some winds, front winds, you can take off without even moving. Try that. You see on the stream, I see you the X cup. I'm in an X cup, and uh, and you still don't see me as an X cup. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. we'll stop complaining about. What are you doing? You're bouncing around in the plane. Yes, I am adding some wind. <laughs> How did you do that? You go in the weather. Oh, you add wind. Okay. Clear Playing sky. Uh, front wind and you increase the speed yes yes and you might take off without even moving <laughs> how come this uh, Kodiak is like it's always uh, I don't know like the, the prop is spinning so fast that it wants to take right off and from brake you see, Jean? Yeah, I see. I'm taking off without moving. Look at that. It's like flying a helicopter without a helicopter. 
you took off just like a like yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. I just set some front wheel. I see it in the stream now. A cheap F thirty five. How to crash? Up. <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. It's like a magician. Even backing up. Yeah. To land, it will be impossible to come back. Too much wind. You want? Yes. Do you see, a, do you see, do you see a, a delay like us? About a 15 second delay between the dream and the reality? No. Much for that theory. Alright, let's go get go get the plane. Airbus. One thirty five. My grandson got COVID. Yeah, this plane is fast, it's nice, huh? Because it's very fast. Because it's very light. you talked about earlier was a savage shock yeah I see that I'll try that oh, now those are fat tires those are really fat tires I can't believe you <coughs> won't see me in the stream with this. Well, I'm coming back. Really a nice plane, this uh, x cub Yeah, it, uh, it's modern cockpit, Yeah, the x cub but this one, the Savage Shock, ooh, the cockpit is like going back to the 1950s. <laughs> You're still on the runway? Be in the way. Wait, I want to see you.
My god. It's like a, a beach grab with a double engine. And it's the, it's the shock. Yeah, it's a Piper Arrow uh, PA34 Seneca. You back in the Kodiak? Yes. There's Wellington up there. Oh yeah, I see him. Wow, so fast. With the Vertigo plane, right? What's that? Uh, it's a free plane that you find on uh, flightteam.to. Very fast aircraft. Fat wheels if I can land on the ground.
there's a bit, a lot of people on that runway. Yeah, this rock is attracting people. Eighty there. Deep, you there? What? What's that? Okay. Do I wake you? <laughs> it's concentration. Oh. I don't know. Uh, your hand seems to be gone. I guess. No, no, no. I'm here. I'm still looting. Oh, he's there. Mm -hmm. Says the pilot to the stream will be back soon. Yep. Concentration. I was just in the main menu of the game. <laughs> you found a the font on your on your messaging. It looks like uh, something from Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Kirk. Why is it turning like that? What is this? What's wrong? The plane is turning on left. But too much. Every time I want to take off the plane, any plane is going left. And anyway, the Savage Shock, it, it, it controls very well. Nice, nice plane. 
What's the SR-22? B-51 Yes, I still see you, still, yes.
Yeah, yeah, curling's on too if you your water. Oop. I'm sorry, I wasn't talking to you guys. Okay, is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Wellington, I think. Look <laughs> 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 yeah. at the, the, all your yeah, all your pieces have fallen off. <laughs> hey, yeah. Come on, to get off the ground. Here we go. What is Cessna? Oh, this is a fun little plane too. So many little planes. There is an airport close to here. Is there another one close to here? It's called... Uh, no, yeah, it's one right here to the northeast. Yeah, northeast. No, okay. Right here it's called... Uh, Alice Springs Airport. Uh, why? Yankee Bravo Alpha Sierra. That's pretty close. I don't know if anybody wants to go there. With what? The big plane? And this plane. It's not that far. Wait, wait, wait. How do you program that? This plane. What's the plane? You got well, yeah, boy. You got fast planes, right? What do you got there, Steve? Well, that's, I'm gonna go into a faster plane than you do this. So, Yankee, what? Yankee Bravo Alpha Sierra. Alice Springs.
Africa. Nice plane, the P-51. Nice detail. And guys, we're heading to Alice Springs in the middle of Australia. If you like what you see guys, please don't forget to like, to follow, to share the stream and you can send the stars to support the channel and to see uh, more new content like this plane, the Aeroplane Heaven P-51 Mustang. Flying in uh, what is called the Simpson Desert in Australia.
there. All I did, made a suggestion. Well, it'll go, it'll go quickly with this. See, I'm going at uh, 150 knots, so. It's about an hour. Is there another airport on the way? There's a couple of little small ones here. A couple of small airports on the way there. A little over, over to my left. Uh, Yankee Kilo Charlie Sierra, which is just off of, uh, I don't know, a little bit north northeast of our flight path here. Yeah, there's that one, and then there's another one, Hermansburg, Yankee Hotel, Mike Bravo. So there's a couple little airports we could probably stop along the way before we get to which one okay. called Springs. Today we see a Wellington on Balanta. Really? Oh yeah, there he is. He's a blue. Yeah, King Creek, King, King Creek Airport. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Kilo C. Yeah, Yankee Kilo Charlie Sierra. It's That's right next thing. to you. Right next to you, Yoa. Turning it, you're turning towards there, aren't you? Yeah, it's a couple of 
Sports on the way. The land is pretty flat here. You're not going to see much of a canyon. King's Creek. Stay up every time. We... All you have to do is follow this little river here, right? Oh no, it's uh, Luricha Road. Luricha Road, the King's Creek. You do. So we're not going to the uh, the what is it Yankee Bravo Alpha Sierra Airport? We're not it. The one that's at uh, okay. That's what I thought. I don't know how you do it. How do you work days and, work and do this at night? You're, you're like a vampire. So I see you hit the ground. Close of trees. Bushes. Watch out for the snake. Kangaroos. on the canyon. King.
It's a strange airfield. It looks like you landed on top of a pizza. Food. Always thinking about food. Oh. I have to lose 20 pounds. Christmas was a Christmas was oh winter <laughs> flight simming when you go to work in Egypt do you have to do you take your car or, do, or can you walk So is Wellington landed too? He, his plane is on Valanta, it's just right next to yours. He's not talking. Not talking. Oh, we didn't go. We didn't go in the group for of of four. We're in the group of only three. I'll, 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 I'll add Wellington. I'm calling him now. At least we are be able to say good night. There he, Wellington's on the air with us. I'll tell you the code. It's it's a YKCA Yankee Kilo Charlie Alpha. Your plane falls apart every time you land. An explosion button. You got they get a propeller on the ground, and you got still the propeller on top uh, on the plane. What is it? <laughs> what that's a, that's a, a cool off uh, system. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful engine, eh? Look at the number of pistons. Very nice. Oh, that's a, I see that panel, yeah. That's well, well made. Wellington, he's taken off. I don't understand. Wellington is uh, his icon appeared in our Discord. I invited him. He should be there. 
maybe he's a but he doesn't answer oh look at that where are the the bullets in the wings the machine guns they don't work eh you think they'll work? You'll be able to shoot bullets. So when we're not fast enough, you'll be able to shoot at us. In my in my twin in my twin otter. <laughs> this is the master plan. You hear that, Steve? He must call me. Oh yeah. Really? <laughs> uh, where did you get the 145? Oh, same plaza, but what's the real place? Oh yeah. Well, I have to wait till next month. I already wasted the forty-five dollars on the on the triple seven. The only real good plane that I purchased is the this one, the the, the twin otter. Yeah. I see. I see him. He's. He's right there next to you in the sky, in the game, in Valenta. You don't see him in Valenta? Uh huh. going on the west could be I'm trying to reach the airport but I, you can go to bed if you want <laughs> it's my pleasure I am I am old I am older than you my young boy. <laughs> Not that much, eh? Almost a generation. Imagine. I, I, I like that when you put that uh, the intermission there on, on the on the on the stream, you we see your plane in the square. On the right we see Microsoft Microsoft's flight simulator. Then you could put credits. You could say we wish to thank uh, the following uh, simmers for flying with me tonight and you have our names and like a uh, credits from a movie. <laughs> yeah, you could put a, a picture of our a picture of our faces. Uh, well, uh, you got you have Joe for me. <laughs> okay, me with a mask. Until until this the COVID is finished, we are, we all take pictures of ourselves with masks. <laughs> yeah, it would be fun. It would, uh, 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 but the, uh, did that take you a long time to do? No, no. But I, I mean the, the 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 graphics where you see inter what's it says intermission, but the yeah. Yeah. Well, 
Uh, you could put a, a for your face. You could put Captain Kirk, and uh, for me, you, for me, it could be doc, the, the doctor. I'm always grumpy and old. Steve could be a, I don't know the the Mr. Scott. I don't know. That's it. That's that's a hard. One. Maybe Adrian. <laughs> yeah, he, he's only four hundred and twenty years old. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'll be arriving there. Anyway, have a have a good night. Thanks, thanks for streaming with us. Night. Hey John, thank you very much for the fifty stars again. Good night.